Okay, in this video we'll talk about the iOS white label framework and what you will need and what you should know before buying. This is the app running in the simulator, but first let's talk about what you'll need before you get started. Uh, this is on our website. Uh, things you will need, you'll need GT version 3.12 or later. You obviously need the white label framework which can be bought from the account page. You'll need an Intel Mac with Xcode 4, uh, which is free from Apple. If you don't have a Mac, uh, we will provide a service for getting your app onto the App Store. We'll probably provide that through Theme Tailors. Um, you'll still be able to download it onto your PC and then edit the images to make it look the way you want it to and be able to edit the strings and uh, things like that. And then once you've done that, you'll zip up, send it to us, and we'll submit it to the App Store for you. Um, so it's, it is a requirement if you want to do it yourself, but if you want us to do it, that can be done. So it's not a essential. And also, if you're going to do it yourself, you'll need an Apple iOS developer account, which is £99 a year, or $99 a year, should I say. And you'll need an image editing software, something like Photoshop, uh, to edit the images. Um, there's also an app tutorial here about how to edit it. I will leave that for another video or let you look at it yourself. Let's just jump into looking at the app itself. Uh, this we on this simulator we have two versions running. We have a kind of modified one. So we've modified the logo and the background only, and we have the original one. Is how it comes. Uh, we'll look. This one's connected to a GeoTheme test site, so let's just browse through some. Well, go through how it works. Um, let's start off with the about page. In the about page, this can be edited from the back end of WordPress. Uh, let's show you that quickly. iOS app settings. Here's we WYSIWYG editor put in an image or text that you want and then update and that's you it will be in the about page the version number just shows you the version number of the app for your customers that's about it for the about page in account settings you can log in uh, you can sign up through the app so you don't have to already have an account on your GeoTheme website you can also connect with Facebook, which will get your details from Facebook and sign you up and log in. Um, I'm already logged in as admin, so I don't have to log in here. Location is where you'll select the cities. And the app has only got cities. GeoTheme has neighborhoods and it has regions and countries. This is not in the app, so it's good that you know that first. Um, but it shouldn't really be needed. At the moment, we have a nearest button, which if you click near, should locate you and it will automatically select the nearest city to you in case you have like 400 cities. Um, it won't be working just now because it's on the simulator and it's going to think I'm in California, but you can just simply select what city you want. And that's it for location. Now, browse just lets you browse through your listings. You can, this is your icons pulled from your category markers and in here you can go to a map that will show you absolutely everything and I think I'll show you my location in California obviously not and it'll show you absolutely all your listings you can click back or you can click list to go back to the list this we drop down here lets you switch from places events and blog while you're on the category page, let's go to events. You can go into events and blog. Blog will use the featured image uh, in a blog post. So let's let's just stick with places just now to show you a bit more about it. Um, let's go into attractions. Now you can see featured uh, listings here. You can edit the colours of the featured highlighting from the text file that you edit all the strings. And 
these are obviously featured images and these are standard featured listings, these are standard listings. Now there's a search at the top, so you could search for, let's search for Franklin or Glasgow. Glasgow and it brings up the account Glasgow. And if you want to cancel the search, you just type cancel and get rid of the keyboard. Now this tab now that you're in the listing provides you with sort options. So this would be highest rated, so it's five stars, four stars, four stars. How many most comments? So now it's two, two, one, etc. And finally, nearest location, which is going to think of in California again, but you can see it orders them by the nearest location to where it thinks you are. And let me scroll. Stick with this one. Okay, let's show you part of the listings now. Let's try Liberty Bell Center. Let's go into this one. This is the listing where you can scroll through the description and you can view the images. Oh, let's drag up. Not too far. You can click, tap on an image just to go into the kind of gallery and then you can flick through the images in the gallery. I'll tell you how many there are up here. And then you'll have your custom fields down here, like website, email, Twitter, uh, any kind of custom 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 fields. That's the word I was looking for. Um, also down here you can check out the reviews that have been left. Um, you can actually go into them with the more button. You can add a review review yourself. You can take an image or you can upload one from your library and let's just add a sample one, do a wee test. You can give it a rating, let's give it let's give it five stars, why not? Uh, this place is awesome. And hopefully I'll post it straight away instead of going to moderation. Hey, there we go. And it tells you it's got a photo added to the comment, so you can go into it, have a look at the photo. So if you're at a restaurant, you can take a photo of your food, as everybody likes to do these days, and post it as a review. Um, you can also report this. Um, this is mainly added because of Apple's regulations for apps, and it will go into your reported settings in your back end of GeoTeam. And it can be reported for inappropriate comments, spam, images, language, um, you just simply choose one and then you can add a comment about these are inappropriate images added, etc. And you can add it to your favourites. Let's, let's add it to our favourites. Maybe it's added to our favourites, so it's coming up with remove from favourites, so if you want to remove that. We can also view this place on a map, just an individual place. And I'll also tell you your location relative to the place. Um, this little signal down here is green when you have a good signal and red when you don't have a good signal. And you can switch between satellite, hybrid and standard, as the usual. And one other thing is directions. If you click on the address, it will give you directions from your current location to the place. And we'd like to use your current location. Okay. And you can decide if you're on car, bus, walking, cycling, etc. Let's go back to the app. Now we're we're on the listing page. Uh, once you scroll down to the bottom, you can also you can set how many listings appear first of all. So I think I have it set at ten. You set this here. Post per page and your app settings, uh, simulator, and then once you click more it just keeps loading more until there's no more left to load. Oops. Now I added a couple of posts to my favourites, so let's go and check out what favourites does. This is our favourites in here, and again we can search through them or we can order them by favourites, etc. Get rid of keyboard. And we can view them on a map. 
this will also appear in your GeoTheme. If you log in to GeoTheme, you'll it's where your normal favorites are. Now the good thing about favorites on your iPhone or i Apple device is they're cached offline. So once you've added it to your favorites, and then say you're on a foreign holiday, you go outside and you want to check the details or a phone number, and you have no signal, it'll still be in your phone, and you'll be able to go to the listing, and it'll be cached caches, all the information, and if you've viewed it on the map as well, it'll also cache a little bit of the map for the zoom settings that you've used, and things like that. You can, if it had a phone number, you could call it, so etc. So, offline caching for favorites, which we like. Okay, now we've explained about favorites. Last thing to talk about is the ad listing page. Let's go to in here. Once you've on the listing page for places or events, uh, you'll have this add new button. Once you click on that, it'll bring up a uh, Add listing page. You can add a listing, add event, and it'll, you'll be able to select the packages. Now, there's different style settings, and which you can change from the back end of GeoTeam. So let's change it from the dark one to the light one. Click update. Go back into the simulator, and you'll see now it's light. So let's let's go through adding a sample listing. Uh, the free one has no description. And here, just tapping here will give you a wee breakdown of what's actually included in the listing. You can add that from the back end of GeoTheme. And once you tap it, if you want to add a free listing, this is the form that will come up. Uh, we'll add a sample listing actually, which I'll delete later. You can add images from here, add an image. Add this one, let's add another image, this one, and are you the business owner? Yes, listing title, testing. Now the city will change, so if, if we change it to Glasgow, you'll see the map change. So change to Glasgow, and also if we change a neighborhood, it'll change the location of the map again. And then you'll be able to either enter the address and click set on map, or you can drag the marker about and place it Glasgow University, and I'll add the address in for you. Which some instructions here. Um, the default map view for the main website, default satellite or hybrid on the listing page. Uh, you can enter your listing in here. Enter description of listing. Okay. Uh, categories here. Let's stick in attractions. Let's say it's a restaurant as well. And these are some custom fields that we've been added from the back end. So the app does support custom fields as well. Check boxes. Uh, drop downs. Multiple select drop downs. All all compatible with the app uh, and a text area. Now we have terms and conditions. <coughs> Sorry, we have terms and conditions as well. You don't have to have them active. If you don't have them active, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can set these from the back end. Uh, okay, I've added some dummy terms and conditions in there from the app page. Uh, click view. You can see the terms and conditions. Make sure before you accept the terms and conditions. And then you can click review this listing. There's also error checking, so let's go back up and create an error so we can see how it works. Let's delete the title because that's a required field. And then try and submit it with the title not on. It'll scroll you up to the required field and you can fill it in. And also we have the CAPTCHA, so if you get it wrong, one, two, three, it'll just tell you you've got it wrong again. So let's try one Z C, which should be right. Or maybe not, maybe it's L Z C. 
third time lucky. Here we go, it's uploading images. Images uploaded. And there is our listing with all our little custom post fields as well. And our two images that we uploaded. Now the ad listing page only accepts PayPal. So if you're adding featured listings, it'll, you'll get sent to PayPal, it'll say please let Please post, um, in fact it's easier to show you quickly, let's just do a quick one here, let's add just one image, uh, set any address on the map. I won't bother with the custom fields, let's just put it in a couple of categories and accept the terms and conditions. GK9. Okay. Images uploaded. That will get sent to processing for PayPal. And from in here, once you pay for your PayPal in the browser, uh, your post will go live, if that's the way the settings are on the back end. Let's go back to the app. And, and that's it for the functionality of the app. Let's just have a really quick look at how you actually customise it. And it's in two files, well, one file for this geotheme dash prefix.pch uh, which the location is in the uh, PDF tutorial and here basically you change the base URL to your website of your geotheme site uh, Facebook app ID which you'd have to get from Facebook for the sign up and to change the highlighted uh, color of the highlight highlighted background of the listing color uh, you just change it in here these three ones which is also in the PDF and then you can change the some of the text that's listed here internet connection warnings, location service warnings, things like that so it can easily be translated into your own language and apart from the strings there let's show you some of the images uh, it's in the resources folder these are some of the images, these have been customised, usually they're green but this is for another website and you just simply change the names on the buttons and change their icons and the main background colours and pictures and that will be your app customised and that is about it for the app Just give us a wee email or write on the forum if you have any questions about the app and we'll be happy to answer. Thank you.